Jaguar has a fully automatic sharpening system. To activate the sharpening system, we can go into our SEBA screen. We then select our sharpening menu. With our sharpening menu selected, we can then select on our sub menu of knives and shear bar, and we then can select our sharpening the chopper knives. When we've selected or sharpened the chopper knives, we will then get our sub menu opened. In this sub menu, we will then have information of what the chopping cylinder is doing, how many movements of the grinding stone we have done, what our targets are, and what the complete number of the sharpening system is. To activate the process, we can then use our green arrow at the top, which will then start the automatic sharpening process. Now that the sharpening process has been activated in the SEBA screen, we will now see the sharpening flap will open. The machine will then set the engine RPM to the required speed to sharpen all the blades evenly. The back and forth movement will count as one sharpening cycle. Every time a sharpening cycle is completed, the stone is ratcheted down to compensate for the grinding of the blades. The machine can carry out up to 450 cycles back and forth while automatically adjusting. Once we have reached the 450 cycle threshold, the stone will then need to be adjusted manually. When the sharpening process has been completed, the stone will remain in the park position. The grinding flap will then close and the engine RPM will return to normal. Once you've automatically completed your 450 cycles, we will then need to manually adjust the sharpening stone. To do this on Jaguar 900 machines, we have fitted a setting adjustment gauge. This setting adjustment gauge is simple to use. We simply rotate it so we make contact with the bottom of the sharpening stone. Once it's screwed up nice and tight, that will then set the reference height for the blades, which will mean whenever we reset the sharpening stone that it will be straight into work from that point. With the gauge set in place, what we can then do is remove our ratchet mechanism, so we can simply loosen our bolt and remove that out of the way, and that will allow us to turn our sharpening system. Next step is to then engage our locking mechanism. This will then allow us to lock the sharpening stone mechanism to loosen our top locking nut. To do this, we then need to use our special tool. Which is located in our toolbox. The special tool fits on top. Which will then allow us to use a socket to release the locking nut. One thing to bear in mind with the Jaguar 900 machines, this mechanism is actually left hand thread. So we'll have to turn clockwise to loosen the mechanism. With our, mecha with our locking pin in our engaged position, we will then turn right until our locking pin is fully engaged. With this fully engaged, we can now loosen our adjustment knot. With the adjustment knot loosened, we can remove our special tool. This will now have created a gap between our setting gauge and our stone. To reset our stone, we simply push our stone down till we make contact with our setting gauge again. When contact has been made, we want to make sure that the spring pin on top of our adjuster has not been compressed. This will then be compressed whenever we re-tighten our nut. With the adjustment completed, we put our special tool back on again. We will then preliminarily tighten our locking nut up. Once this has been tightened preliminary, we will then use our torque wrench. Following the operator's manual, we will then torque our locking nut up to 170 newton meters. Now that we have torqued up our locking nut, we can then remove our setting gauge, 
back into the park position and refit our ratcheting mechanism. That is how we manually adjust our sharpening stone. The final process is then resetting the sharpening cycle counter back to zero to allow us to then complete our next 450 cycles. Once we have completed the manual adjustment, we can then come back to our SEBA screen and have a look in the sharpening menu. We select our sharpening menu and then we select our settings section. In the settings section, you will then get information on the condition of the knives. You will get the time to the next sharpening procedure. Um, if you have a quantity meter fitted to the machine, you will then get a tonnage to the next sharpening procedure. You will then see how many sharpening cycles you are going to set for your sharpening process and then the total number of cycles on your sharpening system. This is the number that we then look for whenever this gets to 450 cycles, we then need to reset our cycle counter. Whenever we complete our sharpening process, we can then adjust how many cycles we complete in one process, and this can be adjusted anywhere between one and 30 cycles. Next thing we can then adjust is our sharpening interval, and this is just a countdown timer to remind us to sharpen, and we can set this anywhere from zero to 99 hours. If we've got the quantity meter option, we can then set anywhere from zero to 8,000 tons. Now, down at the bottom is the important menu, and this is where we reset sharpening cycle counter back to zero after we've completed our manual adjustment. Simply click on the option, you will then get a reminder that you're doing this process. Simply click yes, and that'll put the sharpening cycle counter back to zero.